their new heel persona is extremely annoying. And they're going to up the annoyance by somehow defeating FDR, who the fans are very loyal to. Let, let me uh, bring something up, too, uh, while we're talking about AEW. Kenny Omega has spoken publicly about that brawl out uh, incident and really had nothing bad to say about Punk. He even said that they reached out to one another and uh, they seem fine. I, the interview was surprising because I kind of expected a different uh, response from Kenny Omega, you know, being under the AEW umbrella. But he basically said, hey, no big deal. And, and the whole incident really got out of hand. He even admitted that. Um, it's uh, It was surprising to me. I wonder, though, does that put him in hot water with Tony Khan? Who cares? I don't think it would. I think that after seeing that, uh, footage. It was much less hostile than I thought. It, I thought oh, yeah. it, was, it was a big brawl, but it was a push. And then everybody, oh, you know, it was. It could have been even at something staged. I don't know. It could have been a way for Punk to get out of AEW and go back to WWE because if you remember, things again in the wrestling business, they had to do stuff with uh, uh, the Montreal Screw Job is a perfect example. They had to do that so Brett to, to get Brett out of the big contract that he had because Vince couldn't pay him what he wanted at that point. So this could have been the same thing. Before we get out of here, let's go over the AEW uh, Dynasty pay-per-view this weekend. Just a, a quick listing of uh, some of what you can expect at this pay-per-view in St. Louis by AEW. First of all, Roderick Strong, who is your champion, will be going up against Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, for the AEW International Championship. And uh, before this is over with, I, I want you to keep up with how many championships I'm mentioning as we do this. Uh, the next match will be Okada, the champion versus Pac. And, oh, did, uh, you want a, did you want a prediction on that first yeah, match? You want, yeah, I know you watched. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, they were good friends. They were yes. all in the same group for a long time. But uh, I think Roderick Strong will uh, win that one because right now he's got the that personality they need yep. to drive that i agree teddy i, right, I go teddy? to you but i know better <laughs> yeah I, I, I don't know any of these people so no yeah, i know I i'm just saying you know give me the okay yep. yeah all right uh okada is the next uh champion this uh got his belt on the line against pack and of course pack being uh what, what was his other name in wwe bill i'm trying to remember oh uh oh oh I, I'm looking at him because Pac is back, but yeah, um, the bastard. Oh yes, I. Totally Anyhow, yeah, the moment. bastard Pac. But uh, this this guy I've always loved to watch in the ring. Just something else to watch. Uh, but that's for the AEW Continental Championship between him and Okada, which means that that's the championship number two already on that pay per view. Also, so, go ahead. That's going to go to Okada because the fans are completely in a good way nuts about the guys from japan all right the next match timeless tony storm who is your champion and i do like her character on aew versus thunder rosa uh for the aew women's world championship bill who you got thunder rosa uh has had some very bad injuries so i believe that black and white tony storm uh, will retain, and um, uh, if she loses, it's going to be um, because her, um, her um, Melissa May, her uh, side lady, so to say, that's what she calls herself, um, is going to interfere and it's going to screw up somehow. I uh, yeah, I can speak on that too. Uh, Tony uh, Storm and uh... Thunder Rosa, I know both of those girls. I had a chance to work with both of them, especially with uh, Thunder Rosa for a little while. Um, I'd like to, you know, make, make you know, I, I kind of thought about what Bill just said. You know, Thunder, she's had a lot of injuries too, but I tell you, she is tough. So I'm going to have to go with Thunder Rosa. Yeah. You know, Thunder Rosa too, I, I feel like they've had her 
for a long time, but really haven't pushed her. Like, I haven't seen a lot of her for as long as she's been there. Uh, some of that was because she was out with an injury. But uh, I agree. I think Thunder Rosa may win this title uh, this coming weekend from Timeless Tony Storm. Uh, but I will say that I think Timeless Tony Storm is probably the biggest name female-wise in AEW when you talk Absolutely. about some of the names there. And that's Hold funny on. when you have some of the people like, uh, you know, Mercedes Monet on there. Right. You know, in but Tony she just Storm, came in. popular. Yeah. She, by the way, it was Pac was Neville. In, Neville. Uh, that was it. Yes. In, I, uh, our next match, and by the way, that was three championship matches so far. Adam yeah. Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe will go up against the House of Black. That's just in a normal uh, match, and there's no uh, championships on the line. Uh, I, you got to think that uh, Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe may drop uh, or, or take a loss for the House of Black. Bill, what do you think? I think that Eddie King, first of all, I think that Adam Copeland is putting on amazing performances, like the best in his career. Yes. Um, he's really doing great. But I think Eddie Kingston is too hot headed and something's going to happen and they're going to lose that match. Yes, I agree. Totally agree. All right. Uh, let's see our next one. Julia Hart, who is a champion. Uh, your house. Uh, let's see for the TBS championship. She's your champion versus Willow Nightingale uh, in a house rules match. I expect Julia Hart still to maintain that belt. Bill, how about you? No, I think Willow Nightingale. It's her time again. Really? I do, I do. I wouldn't lie to you about that. Wow. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing here, and I know I got to show you. Julia Hart is a magnificent wrestler. And, All right. Here's uh, the other matches. Uh, the Young Bucks versus FTR in a oh. ladder match for the vacant AEW World Tag Team Championship. Um, I'm expecting... After the video and the setup going into the video that they put out with CM Punk, I'm guessing the Young Bucks are probably going to uh, take this one. Bill, what do you think? Um, I agree because of their place where they're kind of, you know, they're running the place now. Yeah. Their new heel persona is extremely annoying. Ext and they're going to up the annoyance by somehow defeating FDR, who the fans are very loyal to. Teddy, I see you shaking your head. You agree with that? Yeah, right? well, I've had the chance to see these guys, the Young Bucks. I've known them a little bit and the FTR, so I've seen these guys. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you guys. I think the Young Bucks will uh, come out on top. You know I what I'm calling them? I'm calling them the Young Schmucks. The Young Schmucks? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I they think are that there's a good chance, too, that uh, somewhere in that match we might see the return of Jerry Perry, Jungle Jack, uh, Tarzan Boy, you know what I mean? I think he might show up. Jungle Boy. Said, Not Tar <laughs> Jungle Boy. Tarzan Boy. What, what is Mac? What, what is he come <laughs> he up with? He watches you got to watch the he show, Teddy. It. You would ask, I promise. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, but see, however, uh, however, keep in mind that um, Chris Saban and his partner from TNA yes. have just, uh, they're, they're in the process of signing a contract with AEW. Maybe this could be their debut with some sort of interference here. That's possible. Oh my God, look who's here. <laughs> I they don't again. belong here. The next match on the card, and this is going to be a great match. On paper, it's a great match. Will Ospreay versus Brian Danielson. So yeah. you got two great talents in that ring going head to head. Uh, Bill, I, boy, that's a hard one to really call, but I'm going to no, say Will no. Ospreay. No, Brian Danielson, right. Brian Danielson is going to do the favor. Yes. And put this young, talented kid over. Totally agree. Have you had a chance to see Will Ospreay, Teddy? Yeah. It, really? Exactly. Good, yeah. Good God damn. He's, 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 he's another tough competitor, man. So, like you said at the beginning, this is going to be one great match, him and Brian Danielson. Oh, yeah. Um, Old school wrestling. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Now, yeah, this is, you know, this is one I don't mind sitting down watching. Yes, well, I agree. That's the only reason I really because it's going to tell it's going to tell a story, and everything they do is going to mean something. Yes, correct. Yes, they don't waste movements, and I, and I do right. love that. All right, the last match on the card, and then we got to get out of here because I'm running over a little bit here. Samoa Ooh. Joe, your champion, versus Swerve Strickland for the AEW World Championship, and uh, hmm. Again, I love Samoa Joe as the champion, but I would love to see Swerve Strickland win that belt. There's just something about him that says money to me. Bill? I agree. I think that Swerve, it's 
this is Swerve's house and he's going to make it his house. But I think the rivalry between the two, first of all, it's going to be the toughest, toughest nails match. Yes, it really is. You have two of the toughest guys in pro wrestling. They're going to slug it out. But I think uh, Swerve and Prince Nana are going to be very happy afterwards. You know, um, I, the one thing I noticed going through this list, and that's the entire pay-per-view right there, there's six titles yeah. on the line. Six out of eight matches are title defenses. Does that seem like a lot of title defenses on one pay-per-view? Teddy, you've been in this business for a long time. Is that a lot of uh, titles on one pay-per-view? Yeah, that's a lot, but they're trying to draw money. Well, that's true. And you're it's trying an to international play. pay-per-view. It's international. Right. right. The scope. And they're the trying to... And, and, what, and what that means with all these titles on the line, they're trying to make that pay-per-view mean something. Yeah. It is called Dynasty. It is a great name for the pay-per-view. So we'll see what happens uh, somewhere on the line. I imagine we're going to see a major Dynasty. And, and there's uh, something evolve. that people have never seen before. It's a it's fresh and brand new. You've never seen a pay-per-view with that many title matches on it. So this is okay. this is something brand new that they're going to try, and I hope it works for them. All right, that's good news for uh, AEW because uh, maybe I can get Teddy to watch. No. no. <laughs> All right. That's it for the Wrestling Time Machine. I am your host, Mac Davis, along with my two fantastic co-hosts, of course, legendary pro wrestling journalist, Mr. Bill Apter, and WWE Hall of Famer, Teddy Long. We'll see you next week. We'll see you at the matches. <laughs>